Hey cousin. Bless Thursday, my loves. Hey you guys. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hope everybody day is going good. Let me get up here a little closer so y'all can see me a little better. Because I'm at my dining room table today. And uh, it's a little awkward, but I'm going to make it work. Okay. Can you guys see me really good? I love you more, boo boo. Have a good day at work. Have an awesome day at work, please. Look, you almost there. You almost there, my love. Just one more day. One more day. You got it. You got this. I'm gonna give it a little time, let some folks get in here. Cause I, like I said, I gotta practice on that, you guys. Cause usually when I come in, I just come in and get started really quick. I'm trying to let some people get in, give them a couple minutes or so before we get started. But I love you guys so much. Oh, let me just say this really quick, you guys. That that, that live that we did last night, even though we was just chit chatting or whatever, it did so good. You know what I mean? I believe it's almost at 600. It's probably at 600 right now. So. Yeah, 600 people that saw that, so I'm so excited about that. I really am. I'm so excited about that. Like I said, anything I can get, I'm grateful for, I'm humble for it, so, you know what I mean? That's the whole main objective is to, uh, to get something accomplished, you know what I mean? So, hey, if, if 600 people saw it, that's a lot of people. And, um, on the flip side of that, I was able to talk to, um, one of my call her one of my little babies that was on here because she reminded me of my babies and um you know she was going through something or whatever and she had something on her heart and um it was good that god sent her on in here hey kim hey my love it was good that he sent her on in here because you know what I mean? she was able to receive a blessing you know what i'm saying so that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? Anything I can help with, anything I can do to encourage and motivate you guys and push you guys to, you know what I mean, your highest potential, that's what I'm here for. So I'm so excited about that. And um, let me just say this, she's probably in school right now, so she's probably not watching this live right now. But if you go back and you watch it, I got your information, I got your address, I will be sending your, your, uh, your blessing package to you. So don't worry about that, you know what I mean? Like I said, you guys, this is going to turn out to be something big. I'm going to be able to bless a whole lot of other people with a whole lot of other things. You know what I mean? Right now, it's just a start. And like I said, I'm just trying to put all this stuff together just to figure out how I'm going to get it going and things like that. But, you know, I'm going to get some, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some um, ideas together or whatever to figure out how I can, um, you know what I mean? Cook up some donations and stuff like that just to have it on hand for people that need certain things, you know what I mean? Just to keep them going and just to let them know that you know what, you are loved and um, I got your back, you know what I mean? And it's going to turn into something huge. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that, you know what I mean? Like when I got off last night and um, like right after I posted it, because usually don't for me, I don't know for anybody else. But um, once I'm done with a video and I post it, it doesn't really show me like actually how many people are watching until after I post it. So when I posted it last night and then I shared it, it showed that it was like 400 and some people watching. So I'm so blessed for that. I'm so grateful. I love you guys so, so much. You guys are great. You guys are so sweet, so beautiful. I'm going to keep coming on here and sharing the love and spreading the love and it's all good. On that note, I'm having a pretty good day today. I'm a little tired, but it's not going to let it stop me. You know what I mean? I made sure that I was good. Your girl is good. She had her meds and everything, and I'm ready to go, and I'm, and I'm here. So, on that note, 
you know, if I got it, you guys got it. You know what I'm saying? So, I picked a little topic to talk about real quick. I'm not, I'm trying to try. Look, and I emphasize on that word big. I'm going to try to keep it short because I know some of you guys are at work right now. I know some of you guys are busy, probably on the road or working or doing errands or whatever you're doing. And you really don't have time to sit and just listen or, or tune in. So, on that note, you know what I mean? I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm doing fine, my love. I'm doing fine. Oh, Nicholas, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great. You know what I mean? I can't complain. I'm alive. I'm on here talking to y'all. So that's a blessing within itself. You know what I mean? Because some people didn't wake up, you know? So I'm doing good. Each day is, you know, each day is getting better and better and better. So, you know what I mean? Like, you have your worst and you have your good. So, every day is a good day to me, no matter how bad it is. I know some people probably don't believe that, but it's true. Yeah, so I'm going to go in a little bit. I'm not going to go in too deep, too long. But um, I'm going to try to make it lengthy a little bit or whatever. And then we will you know end it and then we will pick up this evening hopefully I'll have enough energy to do some type of live with you guys because I really enjoy doing them with you guys it's really fun for me to do it um but like I say I'm gonna just kind of play it easy and play it by ear and just listen to my body and see what it tells me oh on that note um cousin thank you so much for the information you sent me I'm gonna read the article my love man any any look any help that hey Sandra any help you guys that I get pertaining to this this MS thing or whatever, any information, I'm so grateful for it. You know what I mean? I really am. It touches my heart to get that information. You know what I'm saying? And this is the whole part of reaching out. Hey, hey, hey. And um, you know what I mean? I'm so appreciative and I love you so much for it. But um, I'm going to wait until I have time to really sit down and read it and you know, go through it thoroughly and things like that. And um, it was good to see other people on there as well. So many other people that were on there commenting in there, just hoping and wishing and praying for some type of cure and things like that. You know what I mean? So it makes you feel better too when you have other people that are uh, going through some similar situations that you're going through. You know what I mean? You don't feel so alone. So thank you so much. I love you for that. I just want to let you know that I got it. And uh, I'm going to read it and um, do some research on it and hopefully we're going to keep it in a matter of prayer that, you know what I mean, something good will come out of it, you know what I mean and I'll just say this, you know what I mean because a lot of people were thinking the same way I was on that situation, if this you know, this scientist, this lady this you know, awesome lady that's trying to do something hopefully if she does have something you know, good to do or use to help people or to cure it, that you know what I'm saying, the government doesn't try to stop her you know what I'm saying, because you know, a lot of people want to admit it, but they actually make more money off of people being sick than for them to be healthy. So, um, I'm going to keep her in the matter of my prayers as well. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people that actually had a lot of cures to other things and a lot of people are going to, you know, rebuke that and all that. But you know what? A lot of people had a lot of cures to a lot of stuff. But um, once they started making noise and their name started getting big, it's just like, okay, let me just kind of wipe them out. You know what I'm saying? Because if they can charge you five hundred to ten thousand dollars for a treatment and you cure it and you don't need it no more, then that's taking money out of their pockets. You know what I mean? So the government is just so so it's so messed up. But on that note, I'm glad to see you guys in here and I love you guys so much. Even the ones that are on the outside that are not in, it's not coming in. I love you so so much as well. You guys, you know what I mean? It's Thursday. We made it through hum day yesterday. You know what I mean? Some for some of us it was a little frustrating. You know what I mean? <laughs> My sister was able to come on here yesterday evening and she had an incident and thank God she was okay. She was unharmed or whatever, but we were able to kind of laugh at it a little bit. But even though it kind of could have it could have been a serious situation, it wasn't and God wasn't gonna allow that. But she was able to come in here and release a little frustration as well. So basically you guys that's what this is for. Um you know what I mean? Like I said, I did not expect um, this to pick up this quickly. You know what I mean? Even though I had other alternatives of why I was coming in here, God just happened to lead me to this way. So, on that note, I'm going to tell you guys again that I love you so much and I'm so appreciative. You guys are going to have a good day. You're going to have an awesome day and a great day. And um, 
you know what? I just want to, man, let me just say this really quick because I'm just trying to give it a little more time to, you know, let some people catch on. Helping this, this um, young lady last night, man, it was such an awesome feeling that, like, to be able to just help her and let her know, like, you know what, like, even though you wasn't, you know, because she wasn't, you know what I'm saying, she wasn't putting it out there like that. She wasn't, you know, because some people, like, come in and try to make they, their their situations be known and things like that. It's just that you can sometimes if you just pay attention and be still and you can see what people are going through. And I felt like, you know, something was on her heart and she didn't want to talk about it or whatever. But in the midst of that, she was still pushing, you know what I mean? And this is somebody I didn't even know, you know what I mean? But on that flip side, I was glad that she was able to come in. You know what I mean? She probably was a little hesitant to come in, maybe a little nervous, I don't know. But she came in, and like I said, she was able to get a blessing from it. I'm going to try my best to make it, to, you know, to, to figure out something to do that would be really awesome for her. Just to keep her going and keep her lifted in spirit so she can keep going and doing what she's doing. And then, like I said, she can pay it for it to somebody else. So that's what it's all about. So I, I really want to do more of that, you guys. But I just have to be patient and just allow, you know, God to do his work and, and do his due diligence and then I have to just listen to him and just, you know what I mean, work according to how he wants me to work, you know what I mean, but I'm really excited to do that or whatever, so, yeah, hey sissy, I just woke you up, you're going to live for a long time, <laughs> yeah, so you guys, I have a few shout outs I have to get out today, didn't get them out yesterday, like I said, I'm a work in progress, I will get this stuff together. So I have it in front of me right now. I will uh, put these shout outs out like maybe towards the end of the, the video. Um, so I got everybody. Don't worry. Um, if, like I say, if there's anybody else on here, then if you're a business owner or, you know, inspiring business owner or, you know what I mean? Or if you need something or you're looking for something or you're looking for a job or any of those things. You know, you can hit me up, let me know. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be on live. If you don't want your business to be like, hey, boo, I love you so much. You know what I mean? If you don't if you don't want your business to be on, you don't have to. You know what I mean? You can inbox me your information and whatever you need. I'll try my best to try to network and see what I can find. You know what I mean? Pertaining to whatever area or location you are in. Hey, mama. Bless Thursday, my love. See, that's why I said let me just talk for a minute and slow down. And let people get on in here, you see. So, like, I'm getting it together, y'all. But I'm so happy to see y'all. You know what I mean? The weekend is coming. You know what I mean? Some of us going to be able to excel for a minute. Have a couple days off. Some of us got to keep going. But on that note, if you do have to keep going, you got that as well. So, it don't trip. Right? So, yeah. So, I think, you guys, what I just wanted to talk about a little bit is... Cause you know what? This is what I do. Sometimes, sometimes I'll, I'll do like a little thinking in my head, you know, like say like after I did last night evening or whatever, you know, when I'm done, I'm done playing the videos back and things like that. I'll kind of think about the next topic I want to talk about. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'll, it'll come to me then and sometimes it won't. Like last night, it just didn't come to me after last night. It hit me this morning. And the topic that hit me this morning is the strength of a woman. So I'm glad to see that there's a few guys in here as well because it never hurts for a man to, to hear that from a woman's perspective sometimes because if you hear from a woman's perspective, then uh, you kind of understand it better because sometimes when guys talk to other guys about that type of stuff, you know what I mean? It clicks, but it doesn't click in like it should, you know? So I think that's what kind of popped in my head. So that's kind of what we're going to touch on a little bit. Like I said, it won't be too long, but um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. So... On that note, I love you guys so, so much. Hey, Tish. Hey, my love. I'm so glad that you got in here. Hey. Bless Thursday, boo. Bless Thursday to all you guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where you are, what you're doing. But what you have to do, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is just be alert, be aware. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things going on in these streets right now. I don't know if you're out in public or if you're driving around. You know what I'm saying? Just be alert. Be, be very careful and be very cautious. You know what I'm saying? But still continue to do what you have to do. Don't allow anything to stop you or deter you. Just be alert. You know? 
first of all, before I get started, can you guys see me really good and can you hear me good? You know what I mean? Because I am in a new spot. You know, I try not to be in the same locations all the time. You know, so. If somebody can just hashtag I can see you, then that will let me know that I'm in a good view. What's wrong with Anthony, my love? We're going to pray for him. I don't know what's going on. But um, everybody in here will pray for Anthony to get better. You know what I'm saying? You know, as if we're praying right now for you. You know what I mean? Don't know what's going on quite yet, but whatever it is, it will be okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So look, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this volume down a little bit because I know that sometimes like when I play the videos back, like even though it's low on my end, it's really loud on the, on the video. So look, here's the thing. Like I said, I usually, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to do research or whatever. I just kind of play off my head on whatever I'm feeling. Or whatever comes to me or whatever I feel passionate about talking about at that time. So like I said, I tried to think of something last night when I got off alive. I couldn't think of anything. And then this happened to pop up in my head. And uh, this is a topic that I came up with. Okay. Yeah. I know how that is. Child. Trust me. I've had to nurse many a colds. Many a day. All that good stuff, the vomiting and the coughing and the stand up and the crankiness. But like I say, that too shall pass. It will be okay. You know what I mean? Just stay calm and have patience. You know what I mean? Pray about it. Don't worry about it. And he will fix it. Okay? I'm glad that your day is going good, Sandra. <laughs> That's right, girl. Love on your husband. Hey, Chris. I support that 1000%. Love on your love on your husband, my love. Spend all the time you can. There's no such thing as too much time. There's no much, so, there's no such thing as being too clingy because before you know it, 40, 50 years will be gone from here and then one of us will be perishing or we might be perishing together, so you have to take all the time you can get. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in full support of that. You know what I mean? But I'm glad to hear that you are having an awesome day. Hey, Chris. Good to see you, my love. You look so good. I like your, your new uh, hairdo. Look, you kind of making me want to shave my stuff again. I'm telling you, like, when you shave your hair, you guys, it's just so freeing. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to, like, skip over the subjects and stuff like that. But, yeah. It's so freeing, you know what I mean? A lot of us, like, gravitate on to this type of stuff right here, and it's just an image, you know what I mean, of who we are. It's not us. It's just an image. Okay, my love. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. So, look. Like I said, I thought about what I wanted to talk about last night. It wouldn't come to me, so I just left it alone because sometimes when you think too hard, you end up getting something you don't want. So I got up this morning and I was like, you know what, what, what can I talk about for Thursday morning? You know what I mean? And it hit me and I'm like, okay, the strength of a woman. The reason why I thought of it, you guys, is because as women, like women, they go through so much, but a lot of times they go through so much, but they get that much credit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like people feel like, you know what I mean? Like we as women, we're supposed to have it together. We're supposed to know all the answers. We're supposed to be able to figure everything out. You know what I'm saying? And, and and if you have to deal with it, deal with it. You know what I'm saying? If you have to go through what you go through, you go through. So if you have to have a baby on the arm and stirring a pot in the other hand and folding up clothes with your toes, then that's what you have to do. And at the same time, like we have to figure things out too. And we don't always have it together, but what, what we do have together, we try to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the subject that came up to me, and I'm saying that to say this. Be who you are. You can always, you know what I'm saying, you can always create a better version of yourself, 
you can always, you know what I'm saying, work on being that better woman or being, uh, being a, 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 put it this way, be, being a perfect woman in your eyes because there's no such thing as being perfect to other people, you know what I mean, because that never exists, but you can be perfect to yourself in a sense. So I'm saying like just, just work on it accordingly, you know what I mean, and don't get all caught up in the hype of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I have to do this this way. I have to be this way. Or people will portray me in this way. You know what I mean? You can be a million things and still be yourself. You know what I mean? And all those components is what makes you strong as a woman. You know what I mean? And some of some of the, us women are still trying to find ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let me just say that. Does it make them a bad person because they're trying to find themselves? No. It's just... They're just trying to find themselves. You know what I'm saying? All that means is that they are where we used to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to just tell you like this. I'm going to just keep it real. A lot of us would pretend like we ain't never been there before. I'm going to just say that. You know what I mean? And and, and we have. You know what I mean? And, and that's why you have, have layers of growth. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when we get to a certain age, you know what I mean? We... You know what I'm saying? We act a certain way. We party a certain way. We have a certain group of friends. You know what I'm saying? We we have this certain arena that we we you know we act in. And then when we get older, that changes. You know what I'm saying? So no, it does not make them a bad person because they have not found themselves. However, I will say this to women. If you are in a position where you are starting to find yourself and you are past that phase that you used to be in, that those women are in, then instead of, you know what I'm saying, instead of judging them, instead of downgrading them, you know what, find a way where you can say, hey, you know what, like you better than this, you know what, you're beautiful, you don't have to do all this, you might not listen to what I have to say right now and that's fine, maybe it'll click in later. But you know what? You're good. You don't have to do that. You know what I mean? There's ways you can do things where you don't have to exploit yourself in a certain way. You can carry yourself in a certain way. And therefore, when you carry yourself in a certain way, the, the positive things, the correct things attract you or, tra or are attracted to you. Let me say that. You know what I mean? So a lot of times as women, we can get so caught up into ourselves that we will put all the energy and time into ourselves. But then when we look at somebody else doing something, it's just like, child... What the hell? You know what I'm saying? Now, we all had them looks, but what is the results of after that? You know, what are, what are the results that you're going to have after that, after you see what you see? You know what I'm saying? Are you are you the type of person, are you just going to sit there and allow that person to just diminish yourself and degrade yourself? Or would you step in as an elder? Because we are elders to certain to certain young women. Doesn't make us old. You know what I mean? We've just been here a little bit longer. Or would you just stand there and not say anything? Or would you stand there and not do anything? You know what I mean? And you figure if you have one or two women who would just step up and do that, you know what I'm saying? It would make the load a whole lot lighter. You know what I'm saying? Especially in our culture. You know what I'm saying? I say culture like as in minority culture. I'm not just saying black people. I'm saying this a lot. It's in the Hispanics. It's in the Asians. It's in a lot of them. So guess what? You know what I mean? We have to work within ourselves first in order to, to be able to help somebody else. We have to work within ourselves first before we can, you know what I'm saying, speak on somebody else's situation. You know what I'm saying? How can I sit here and talk to you guys about what I feel like is right or should be right if I'm not a work in progress myself? If I'm not using the same vital information for myself that I'm saying to you, how can I even sit here and say that? You know what I'm saying? So like I always tell y'all, anything that I say is always going to be from my own experience. It's never going to be from what I see from other people. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm not ashamed to say I've been through a lot in my life. You know what I'm saying? But on that note, I don't regret anything because everything that I've been through thus far has made me into this person that I am today. And so, you know... At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We are awesome. Hey, Kiki, my love. You know what I mean? I'm glad to see you. Bless Thursday. You know what I'm saying? So look, each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean you gotta go out, doesn't mean you have to go out there every single day and grab somebody and, and try to mentor them and all that. No, it doesn't. Like I say, you do what you have in your heart. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be excessive. 
if you don't have it. If you don't have it, then you don't have it. Just work on getting it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, like, if you just spread a little love here and there, you know what I mean? Then these women that are coming up behind us, you know what I mean? They might not get it right then and there because guess what? When you are in a different phase in your life, some of the things that we see that we've already been through, they haven't seen it yet. So they don't know how it feels. You know what I mean? So you're going to get to that place where it's like, mm, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what? Yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? They're going to feel like that. But that doesn't mean that you have to give up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us will be like, okay, you ain't trying to hear what I got to say, then go on and do you. But when you fall, don't call me. A lot of us will be like that. All I'm saying is that don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Right, Tish. That's where, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. The consistency. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, if you are consistent in your heart of truly, genuinely wanting to help people, you know what I'm saying, no matter what it is, no matter what sex it is, male or female, whatever, you're going to, hey, niece, I love you so much. You're going to get into that, that mode where you're going to talk to people and you're going to try to motivate people and uplift people and try to get them to see their best potential. And they're not always going to grasp it the way you see it or the way you feel like they should to get it. You know what I mean? However, you know... If you already have it built up in here, then nine times out of ten, you're going to be that person who will not stop until you see progress from one person. So you can be mentoring five people, but out of those five people, one of those people probably will get it. Your work is done, right? So all I'm saying is just stay consistent. You know what I mean? You know, I love you so much too, my love. Good afternoon to you. And um, just keep working at it. You know what I mean? Because all these things that I speak of, you guys, it's not just for the other people. It's for us as well to make us better human beings. You know what I'm saying? All the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the first person to, I've said this many times before. Like, I'm the first person to have a very strong spirituality. And yes, I have religion. You know what I'm saying? But none of those, none of those things will matter if I'm not like a good human being, if or if I'm not doing things to make myself a better human being, you know what I mean? Because if I'm a better human being, then I can get close to perfecting my spirituality and my religion. If I'm not there yet, then I need to continue to be a work in progress until I get there. And so a lot of these things is, that I talk about, it takes, you know, you have to be consistent. You have to keep, keep doing it over and over and over again because, until it becomes the norm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times I do see like, you know what I'm saying, like the younger women, you know what I mean, in this time and day, you know what I mean, and they're beautiful girls. They really are. They're beautiful girls. They're very pretty you know all that stuff, but you don't have to do all that to, to show your beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's better to just show the beauty within and then the physical beauty comes after that. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? You want a person to get to know you inside and not on the outside first. And they have it vice versa. Sometimes they feel like they have to use what they have on the outside in order. And then they want, they'll use what they have on the outside and then expect the man to know what they're like on the inside. Well, guess what? You didn't give him a chance to know you on the inside. So all he has to go on is what's on the outside. Okay. So when the man doesn't get you, Right? Because he is tired and worn out and bored and exhausted from everything that he's seen on the outside and he wants to go to the next victim, then you're upset. Then you want to be depressed and you want to be mad and upset. You know what I mean? But when you didn't give him a full itinerary to work off of, you know what I'm saying? Then you are left picking up the pieces. And all I'm saying is, look, it's nothing wrong with wearing a nice little dress that's revealing. But do you have to wear that all the time? No, you don't. It's okay to put on a little makeup and do your eyebrows and have your lips popping and have your hair, you know, jumping off. But is that you all the time? No. So the only way you're going to find somebody to love you condition unconditionally you know what I mean, with the good and the bad and the ugly, so I call it, is you have to let the person get to know you on the inside first, and then the outside beauty comes second. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people say, oh, you know what, the attraction is what draws you to the person first. Yeah, that's true. But then once you find out that you are attracted to the person, that's when I feel like the per that, that those people should automatically switch over to 
You know what I'm saying? Like, put that to, hey, Rashida, my love, put that to the side. You know what I'm saying? Put that to the side and then work on the inner beauty first. Hey, Lulu, happy birthday, love. I love you so much, sissy. Work, have them work on the inside first, and then, therefore, if you work on the inside first, then they can love you on the outside. You know what I mean? So sometimes we get it a little misconstrued. And these are like the women that are, are younger than us, of course, because, like I said, we already been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Some of us never really had to go, to go through that because we were already blessed because of the way we were raised. That we didn't have to portray ourselves in that manner. Now, I'm not saying that it's anything wrong with those women who portray themselves that way. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just the knowledge that they've been given. It's just the image that they're portraying. You know what I'm saying? It's just the people around them that's saying that, look, in order for you to catch a man, you have to pull him in you know, with the mini skirt, or you have to wear 12 inch heels in order to do it. No, you can be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Being sexy is in the eye of the beholder. I feel sexy right now. And I'm sitting here with some bifocals on and a nose ring and I ain't even comb my hair yet, but I'm good because I know that the person that I lay with every night loves me, whether if I take this off and lay it in the middle of my bed or if I'm walking around with it on my head, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying that to say, you know, if you happen to see a young girl, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean you have to go grab somebody you don't know or anything like that. Sometimes you just have to put a bug in the air and say, you know what, boo-boo, you don't have to do all that. You're already beautiful enough as it is. Let somebody be attracted to you for who you are on the inside. First. And my bad, you guys, my phone rung. And then let them get to know you on the inside first. And then they can explore the outside, but they can only explore the outside if they work to explore the outside. You know what I'm saying? Are things going to happen in the normal fashion that we all want it to happen, which would be, you know what I'm saying? The guy to get on his knee and propose and get the ring. You know what I'm saying? Or then you get the house, the picket fence, and the dog. No, it don't always go like that. You might get the baby first, then the ring, then the house, and then the dog last. It doesn't matter, but as long as you are in line of what you of, of how you want to do it, and as long as you have a goal ahead, you know what I'm saying. Everybody has to do what works for them. Like I said, it took me eight years to get married, but I knew I was going to get married, and I knew I was going to set a time and date, and I knew I wasn't going to keep shacking up. You know what I'm saying? I tell you that because how can I sit here and tell my kids, especially my daughter, my one and only daughter that I gave birth to? Of, you know what I'm saying? To teach her how a man is supposed to treat her if I'm not being being treated right myself. Right? So there's that, that image again. You know what I'm saying? So the same image that I give with my child is the same image that I give with my daughters or my nieces or, you know what I'm saying? Anything of that nature. So it doesn't take much to just pull somebody to the side and say, boo boo, you ain't got to do all that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do all that. You know what I mean? You got it. But if you keep doing things the way you're doing, you know what I'm saying, you got it now, but you won't have it. You know what I'm saying? And then here's the thing too, you guys. Once you get to a once a once a woman gets to a point in her life where she is used and abused because she feels like she gotta keep going through Tom, Jack, Larry, Robert, Ma, uh, Marcus, Keith, all these people to find her one and true love because she's too, you know what I'm saying, she's too anxious and she don't wanna sit down and she don't wanna wait on it. You know what I mean? And some of them, I'm not going to be funny, I'm going to keep that 100. Some of them will sit around and be like, oh, well, she got it. I did. I cut them boo-boo because I had to do hair. <laughs> I miss them, too. I just seen some nails online. I'm like, I miss my nails. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They will go through these line of men because they're so desperate to find the one and true love that they want to find. And guess what? That ain't guaranteed that you're going to find them. Because first of all, you ain't going to find them any damn way. Because you're too busy being wrapped up in something you don't need to be wrapped up in. Because you haven't gave yourself enough time to sit back and reflect on what your problem is. You haven't looked in the mirror to say, what am I doing wrong? And you constantly taking all the wrong things that you do in your life. And taking it to these new relationships. And expecting these men to get it. And they're not going to get it. You know what I mean? Because you don't get your damn self. So, therefore, you're going to keep running into these situations. And then when you keep having all these heartbreaks and mishaps and situations, it's not, it has nothing to do with them. It's you. It's not the men. Now, don't get me wrong. Do men come and do some horrifying 
trifling ass shit to females? Yes, they do. I am a result of that. But I'm also a person that's standing on my own two feet right now, married to somebody that loves me unconditionally because I was able to sit my black ass down. Yes, I'm a cuss today. I don't care who don't like it. You don't like it, you ain't got to watch. Because now I feel passionate about what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was able to sit my behind down and say, you know what, God, if it's for me, then let, it know, let me know if it's for me. And eight years later, he said, okay, now you can go do what you need to do. You see? But I always had a plan. Yes, I always wanted to be married. Yes, I also always wanted to have that, that two-parent household for my children. But it was not that serious for me to just go here, there, there, and there. Did I have my fun? Did I date? Did I do all these things? Yes, I did. But I also carried myself with the utmost respect. And a lot of these women have a problem with doing that. You feel what I'm saying? So sometimes it takes women like us that's on this page right now, on this feet right now to say, but well, come here, let me holler at you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That little mini dress you got on and your behind is showing, put that down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or, you, you know what I'm saying? You could go put something else on. You know what I'm saying? You got a beautiful shape. You ain't got to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I have a 14-year-old daughter that just turned 14 and she just happened to take after her mama with her shape. You know what I'm saying? And her, my, her father and I be swatting people off like flies. But it is my responsibility to tell her, look, love the, love your body. You know what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed of your body. But treat your body as the temple that it is. You know what I'm saying? And respect it first. Because when you respect your body, then it makes other people respect you first. Then if it comes time for them down the line, down, 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 down the line, for them to respect your body, they will. You know what I'm saying? You got to build this up first. You know what I'm saying? The body is not going to do the work for you. A lot of females feel like if they walk a certain way, talk a certain way, you know what I'm saying, drag you in with their eyes a certain way, that it's going to get everything they want. Yeah, it's going to get you what you want for now, but it ain't going to be nothing that you can keep. It ain't going to be nothing you have nothing to show for. You know what I'm saying? It'll probably be something that you could wear for a while. It wears out while they're probably wearing you out. Now, we're getting deep in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that we just have to love ourselves first. You know what I'm saying? As women and love ourselves as human beings. And then once you do that, then the right people come along. You, and you'll be able to fish out if that person is right for you, if that person is wrong for you. But if you're so eager to get to it, if you're so eager to be known, if you're so eager to be popping and you're so eager to be out there, then you're going to get exactly what you're looking for, boo-boo, I promise you. But sometimes it takes women like us to say, you know what, like, you ain't got to do that, my love. You ain't got to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Be happy in the skin that you in. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got a sister on here that been with her husband since she was 15 years old. And ain't never had to have now another man. Right? And she watching right now. So, she's only had one man in her life. So that is living proof that you don't have to rush. You don't have to run to everything. You don't have to like, and, and, and let me get a little deep with this too. Like a lot of people, a lot of people probably ain't going to like this, but I'm going to just say it. You know what I'm saying? Not only do you have a lot of people, and now that we're talking about the strength of a woman, I'm going to say you have a lot of women who will do this as well. They feel as if, okay, they see another woman in a relationship right and that oh when you look at from the outside boo boo that relationship look bomb as hell because every time you see them they hugged up together they chilling together he catered to her he pay attention to her he loved her and you know what that female said she said damn that look good i want some of that you know why i can't get none of that but instead of her trying to go find her own shit she wanted she wanted to taste yours so let that be known so you got some out there that's like that too you feel what I'm saying? And all I'm saying is this. It ain't that serious, boo-boo. There's a, there's a large demographic of people out here because a lot of females be acting like it's a straight drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Where is the man at? Fresh meat on the line. You ain't got to do all that. Take the time to know yourself, to get to know yourself, and then you'll find somebody for yourself. You don't have to have what belongs to somebody else and why you want to deal with somebody else's headache. Furthermore, my shit might look good to you, but you don't know what I go through behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? So, for all you know, shit, I might be in here arguing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But just because you see me hanging out and we arm in arm and we lovey-dovey don't mean that it's always like that in the house. Now, I'm not saying it's like that because it ain't. 
But I'm just saying, like a lot of females, you know what I'm saying? Either they see the guy on a, on a, on a woman's arm, you know what I mean? Or I'm going to tell you another thing. If they see a guy and he got a ring on his finger, oh, they want it. Oh, I want it. How can I get it? And not only do I want it, I bet you I can get it. You know what I'm saying? I bet you I could break him. But I'm going to tell you like this. All men are not dogs. All men are not cheaters. Now, they might have had cheating ways in the past, but a lot of men grow up as well. And I'm going to tell you like this. You got a lot of men who don't play that. You got, hey, Aaliyah, I love you. Right. That's right. Do not do not covenant and desire anything that don't belong to you. Because I'm telling you, if you do that, you're going to get something that you don't want. You know what I'm saying? So, you just stay out of people's playgrounds and create your own. You know what I'm saying? But that is a true fact. Women will gravitate onto something that already belongs to somebody else. Because it's just the, it's the chase factor. It's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to see if I got it. I'm going to see if I can take them away. Well, I'll tell you like this, boo-boo. If you can take them, you can have them. Okay? I ain't going to fight over it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I ain't going to do. Now, would I probably want to, you know what I'm saying, get a little revenge and rat tat tat that ass a little bit before you hit the dough? Absolutely. I'm going to keep it real. I ain't going to be on here all politically correct, y'all. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm not. But at the end of the day, what they need to do is sit on down, have several seats, and focus on getting your own. Why do you want something else that belongs to somebody? Don't you want your own? You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to have your own relationship and have your own heartaches and your home, your own makeups and all that other stuff? Like, why you want to have something that don't belong to you? And then you want to sit there and harass the wife or harass the fiance and harass the girlfriend about something that didn't belong to you in the first goddamn place. Really? But guess what, though? If that man was not in a relationship, he was not married, and he was single, you wouldn't give two fucks about what he was doing. You'd be passing on by your way. So I'm saying that you got women that do a whole lot of other stuff, and that's because they get misguided on how they run their life. Like I said, some of us have like decent upbringings, and a lot of us don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. So all I'm saying, each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? You might not get the results that you're looking for right away, but as long as you stay consistent, you know, God will continue to bless you and bless your union, bless your marriage, and bless your relationship. <laughs> she said, I wanted to kill her. Guess what? If you wanted to kill her, that was your emotions. That's how you felt. And then that was your husband. You had a right to feel that way. I don't care what nobody say. Because I feel like this. At the end of the day, when you marry, it is signed, sealed, and delivered. So, Lord forbid, I'm sorry to say this, don't take this the wrong way, Chris, but if your husband was to be on his deathbed right now, you are the only one who can make decisions for him. And if it was anybody on the side, she couldn't do a damn thing, but she want to take all the credit for everything that you work for. And it ain't happening. It's not happening. You know? So, like I'm saying that a lot of women got it misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? Get your arm. Get your own. Don't you want your own? Don't you want to be proud to say, you know what, I got this on my own. Like, no, nope, I didn't have to take this. I didn't have to try to steal this from nobody. Like, how you lay, how you sleep at night? But a lot of them sleep good. Girl, they roll over, they stretch their yarn. Now you got a lot of women I be saying, like, they be saying they proud to be a side chick. What the fuck? You proud to be a side chick? Really? Okay. So on that note, I'm going to take a sip. Because I know all y'all heard that. I ain't the only one. Hmm. Yeah, they saying they proud to be side chicks. All I'm saying is this. How are you going to want something in your life that's good, that's wholesome, and with all these beautiful things when you ain't even right in here? You know what I'm saying? So until you get right in here, all those things that you want will never come. They will give you a fake imagery like it's going to come or, or it's going to give you a fake image that that person is the one. But um, I hate to tell you, that person won't be. Because it's the way that you're trying to attract the person by your behavior, by the way you carry yourself, by the things you say, by the things you do, by the way you walk, the way you talk, and the way you breathe. You know what I'm saying? A man could look at you right in your face in less than five seconds, he can tell if he want to date you or if he want to sleep with you. 
Okay, and you ain't got to have a ton of makeup on for him to make the decision. He can, I done heard many men say, and I hung around a lot of men in my day, and I should say, I'm not dating them, hanging around like homies, brothers, and they told me the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we already know. We already know if they wifey material, if they not. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to, to have, you know what I'm saying, to have your bros and homies and stuff like that. Because, yeah, I listen. I listen to what they have to say. And a lot of stuff they have to say, I don't really don't like it. And I don't agree with it. But it's real. And it's real because it's coming from them. So all I'm going to do is take what they're telling me and put take heed to it. You know what I'm saying? And use it in the case of, you know what I'm saying, what not to do. And, and, and to use it to teach me of what not to be. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Hey, Felicia, I see you, boo-boo. I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. However, you know what I'm saying? What I do know is I don't want to be treated like no damn dog. I don't want to be treated like, you know what I'm saying, like I'm not human. So a lot of times we just play the blame game. And we like, oh, he just this. He bad. He's so disrespectful. And he just, hey, babe. And he just cheat on me. And he just do this and do that. Well, 90% of that shit is your fault. And 10% is his. Because he only doing what you allow him to do. Let's just make that abundantly clear. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just wrong again, y'all. But, yeah. You know, he he's only doing what you allow him to do. Okay? So let's just get that straight. And a lot of women are going to be like, huh? Nah. I didn't allow him to beat on me. I didn't allow him to. Hey, Mika Boo. I didn't allow him to beat on me. I didn't allow him to do this. Well, some of us have mouths. Some of us like to poke and provoke. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. I got a mouth, but I'm only going to use it when I feel like it's necessary for me to use it. You know what I'm saying? I'm only going to use it. I'm only going to... I'm, 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 I'm going to speak up for myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to demand my respect and I'm going to protect myself. But I'm never going to be the type of woman that's just always out there like, Oh, fuck you, F you, you son of a bitch. I'm going to tell you one thing I won't do either. I would never front my husband in, front of, in the public. I would never front my, my husband in front of my friends or family. If I have a problem with him, I'm going to pull him to the side and say, babe, you know what, we need to talk. And if we have a cuss out match amongst ourselves, then that's what we do. But I would never, ever, ever front my husband, my man or whoever in front of me, in front of other people, I mean. I would never do that. But a lot of us provoke things, you know what I'm saying? So guess what? If you stepping up to a man and you like, you know what, I beat your so-and-so, blah, 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 and he take you up on that, you have invited him into that match, right? So you can't sit here and say, oh, well, how can he do this? How did, how could he treat me like that? Well, you can't put all the blame on him, sweetheart, because it's a lot of things that you said to kind of provoke the situation, right? So there's so many things that, you know what I'm saying, that it's a constant thing that we have to learn every day. We are not perfect. We would never be perfect. You know what I'm saying? We are all human beings, and we learn on a daily basis. All I'm saying is, is that, you know what I'm saying, am I the complete woman that I want to be right now? Not yet. But am I in work in progress? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to make mistakes? Am I going to fall short? Yes, I am. But for the things that I've already been through, and the, hey, DeAsia, and the things that I've seen in my life or whatever, do I want to make the same mistakes I've already made? No. I'm, it's time for me to move on and, and learn from the mistakes I made and move on to the next thing. So all I'm saying is, like I said, the, the topic of this conversation is each one teach one. All these women on here are strong, you know, powerful intelligent, smart, talented women that's on this page right now. So I know that if each one of y'all are out there and y'all happen to see somebody, whether it's your niece or, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a cousin or a friend or even a, just a woman in the street in general, you know what I'm saying, even if you don't go in deep, you could just say, you know what, girl, you're beautiful, you know, you don't have to do that right. Okay. You can leave it like that. If you don't want to go in deep, you don't have to. But just the fact that you are introducing yourself to say these things to these women, these young women that don't know what we know yet. You know what I mean? And God help them by the time they get to know what we nip. No, hopefully they still here to know it. Just because get that get that out here. Because the time when we grew up, it was much easier. You know what I'm saying? We had things going on during our time of growing up. You know what I mean? But it wasn't as rough as now. You know what I mean? They got all kind of stuff to deal with that we didn't even have to think about dealing with. You know what I'm saying? 
when we was growing up, it was just like, oh, okay, you know, I think he cute. When we were sitting there writing notes in class and, like, checking the box off. Like, do you like me? Yes or no. Do you want to go with me? Yes or no. Now it's on a whole nother level. It, is, it has amplified, like, by a thousand, you know, a thousand whatever. You know what I'm saying? But these are, like, all real topics that still happen. You know what I'm saying? And you have a whole different demographic of women you know what I'm saying that we that we live around you know what I'm saying so it's just like you have a lot of women who either almost have a habit together and some that's working on getting it together and some that just don't have it together at all and I'm saying that you know what I mean we can all scratch each other's back like I say I want my friends to tell me when I'm wrong if I do something and say I'm wrong, don't go, don't, don't side with me. Don't say, okay, I'm gonna ride with you regardless. You know what I'm saying? No. Pull me to the side and say, no, bitch, you wrong. You shouldn't did that. You shouldn't have said that. I want somebody to keep it real with me. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, you know what I'm saying? Look, you guys. We got this. It's Thursday. I'm not gonna preach too long. <laughs> Like I said, I just woke up this morning and I was like, what is on my heart today? What do I want to talk about? And boom, that's what came up. So I'm saying this to say, each one teach one. Each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? My baby came on here, Aaliyah Renee. And I said it earlier, you probably wasn't on here, my love. I got your address. I'm going to send you your blessing. Do not worry. If I say something, I follow through with all my promises. I'm not going to forget you. I'm going to cook up something really special for you because I know you're working so hard. And I felt your heart last night. I felt what you were going through. And I understand. I know what it's like when you when you need that, like, that motivation and all that from your family and stuff like that. And you're not really getting it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that your family does not love you. Sometimes they just don't know how to do those type of things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this to say that, you know... You can still have your family over here, but you also have a family over here with us. You come in here all the time. It's open. Like I said, everybody can just friend request everybody that's on here. You don't have to wait until the live come on to friend request somebody. And just, just chop it up with them and say, hey, girl, how's your day going? How you doing, boo? Or just like a photo or something. And just keep that person's spirit lifted because we all go through something on a daily basis. We all are sick. We all, you know, deal with different illnesses and diseases. We have stress from trying to take care of our family and our children some of us are just trying to take care of our children and we don't have the other backbone to help us you know what i mean some of us are by ourselves with no children and we don't have anything that anybody to lean on anybody to to push us and motivate us to tell us like you know what like look you might be in your lazy zone right now but get up get out and go do something if you need a job go get a job where are you at where are you located what do you need let's google something and see what we can find out you know what i'm saying like i said you guys this is going to be bigger and huger than it is right now. Tomorrow will make the 30 days that I've been on live, so I'm excited about that. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know if I want to just start off with a little celebration or something. It's been going to be 39, 30, 30 days already thus far. So, on that note, I am so proud of you all. I am so proud of myself. I love you guys so much. I love everybody on the outside that's watching. Everybody on the inside that's watching. I really, really do. I'm going to say it over and I'm not going to answer. So on that note, you guys, just do good. Be good. Love someone. Do something nice. Just do one thing a day, no matter how big or small it is. Like I say, do what your heart can afford, okay? Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to like, don't try to like wear yourself thin. Hey, if you ain't got it, you ain't freaking got it. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't.